you very much. Yeah. Sorry. I was here last year on this march and it was a fine and sunny day then as well. And I gave a speech on that occasion too. But I'd really like not to be here next year. Because like you, I would really like to see an end to these marches. Because like you, I would really like to see an end to the horror of animal experimentation. As the parliamentary candidate for animals count in the general election, I am going out to the electorate every day. I am engaging in debate with our elected representatives and I am making the call for justice for all. And unlike all those other politicians, I really mean it. And animals count demand an immediate end to the unjustifiable, intolerable harm done to those millions confined in the UK's laboratories. We know that justice can only be served if enslavement is eradicated everywhere. And that must include putting an end to the violent incarceration of animals in the UK's laboratories. Over time, science should represent progress, a process of adapting to the accumulation of evidence that most effectively fits the results of experiment. But the so-called science of vivisection is stuck in a backward time, a dark age relic of discredited methods and data, a fossilized failure that should be forgotten and discredited in the shadow of a shameful history. Were the science of astronomy to act in so backward a fashion, then we would still believe that the sun revolves around the earth and dismiss the a mountain of evidence to the contrary as a mere irrelevance. And were the science of geography to act in so backward a fashion, we would still be fearful of falling off the edge of the earth, lest we stray too far from land and dismiss the mountain of evidence to the contrary. But fortunately, these sciences mature and it is time for all sciences to do the same and follow the evidence of science and not the pursuit of profit at all costs, no matter what the cost to others. It is time to do away for all time with the intellectually inept and dishonest nonsense of vivisection. We also know really our focus is on those animals locked behind bars in torturous confinement and unremitting misery in deep and unending despair and pain they remain our absolute direct moral focus in our determination to see an end at last to that corrupt and corrupting system that debases science, fails our scientists, and causes such appalling suffering and agony. But I can tell you this, it's been a long time coming, but a change is going to come. And I can tell you this, we are a very fortunate generation. We are favoured by history because we are the ones who will see the world change. Our time is at hand. So even though I know that our hearts are heavy on this, another dark day in many ways despite the sunshine, when we know so many are suffering, we can have hope in our hearts because I know that when the tide of history turns, it turns with us. Our time is at hand. It is our truth that will let loose a torrent that will flood the foundations of that dishonest science and bring the walls of oppression crashing down. Our time is at hand. And we will see the day when men and women from across the biological and medical sciences come together in conversation with us and they say to us, we know the truth and it has set everyone free. It has set us free from days of maiming and killing. It has set our patients free, left abandoned to their fate with pills that did not work. And it has set all those animals free from misery, imprisonment and pain. We will see the day and we will see the day 
when the instruments of torture and killing are melted down, broken down, recycled and remade into new materials, materials that support not death but life, we will see that day. And we will see the day when we can walk lawfully into the last of those research labs. And we will be there when the last cage door is opened. And we will be there when we see the last animal carried gently forward from confinement to everlasting 